In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In holy baptism, Rose Laverne Bunny Hine was clothed with the robe of Christ's righteousness that covered all her sin. St. Paul says, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We are very by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For we have been united with him in a death like his. We shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection.
not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The Lord does not smite by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you from all evil. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Peter chapter 1. 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who, by God's power, are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. A reading from John chapter 14. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens.
On Tuesday, last week, Bonnie made her coffee, set out her breakfast, and grabbed a pen to do what she did so often, write a note to a friend and neighbor. Her notes are legendary. She cared for others and showed it especially through her notes. And this particular note was even a thank you note for some treats a neighbor had brought her. And while writing the note, Buddy suddenly died. She unexpectedly left this life doing what she loved to do. That's a blessing itself, isn't it? No pain, no suffering, but thinking of others and giving thanks. Bunny recognized and knew that the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. She picked all the readings and hymns for today, by the way. And from that, you know, just hearing that Lamentations passage, knew every morning, well, that particular morning, Bunny experienced the love and mercy of the Lord in a different way. Waiting in the silence of her home, she went to be with Jesus. John 14, 6 was the verse given to Bunny at her <coughs> confirmation. I don't know if, uh, if they, um, if you ever did, was, did she pick that herself or was that given to her? I know the practice used to be that the pastor simply picked, chose that for confirmands. I usually give my confirmands a little um, leeway and have them make a suggestion. That verse, you know, regardless, that verse certainly, and the verses prior to it, really reflected the life that Bunny lived, a life following Jesus. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Death can be a troubling thing, but it should not be so intense for believers in Jesus, precisely because of what Jesus accomplished just a few hours after speaking those words. Jesus himself faced death, and he knew it. But his death was a death that won the victory for us, that won the victory over sin and death. By his own death, Jesus prepared the way for us to join him for all eternity. And when Jesus left his disciples, his followers in this life, it was so that he could go before them, before us, and prepare a place for us, a place in heaven at God, in God's presence. Today we are remembering and celebrating the fact that Bunny has now followed Jesus even further than she did before. It is sad when we in this life realize that we have lost a loved one, a beloved mother, grandmother, friend. But we are also able as believers in Jesus to know that Jesus has come to prepare a way for us, to prepare a way for us to be with him in eternity. What a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear. Jesus bore our sins, we emphasize that a lot. But he also bore our griefs, so that we can go to him and be comforted. We know that this life is not all there is. And the death of loved ones can be a good reminder to us of that. As Jesus' own words are a reminder to us of that, I go to prepare a place for you. Jesus has prepared a place for us. None of us knows how much time we have left in this life. Life is a journey of which we might say, like Thomas to Jesus, how can we know the way? None of us knows the way on our own. We often pray a prayer. I really love this prayer. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ our Lord. In a sense, like Thomas, we don't know the way, but in another sense, in a very real sense, as Jesus pointed out to Thomas, we really do know the way, because the way is Jesus. Jesus is the way and the truth and the light. He is the way to the Heavenly Father. And so when we have Jesus, we, no matter what we face, we, whether we face the death of our loved ones, whether we are anticipating even our own deaths, we know that when we have Jesus, we have the life, we have the truth, we know the way. Peter reminded us this, in, this morning in our second reading that God's great mercy has shown to us in Jesus, has given us an inheritance that is kept in heaven for us imperishable, and we rejoice in that, even while here we are grieved by various trials, 
Jesus went away, but we know he did so to prepare a place for us. And by faith in him, we are able to rejoice, and we know that we are receiving the outcome of our faith, the salvation of our souls. Just over three weeks before she died, Bunny was here in church, sitting in the back, as she was her custom, to receive Christ's body and blood and be with God's people. It was Christmas morning. And as our usual practice is, we uh, have a, a little hymn sing before the service. At Bunny's request, we sang her favorite Christmas hymn, God Loves Me Dearly. So that makes that hymn one of the last hymns she sang here in, in church. And I also found out that those very words are going to be inscribed in her tombstone. God loves me dearly. What a beautiful words for a beautiful life. The beauty of our life is trust in the God who loves us. Who loves us so dearly that he sent his son. He sent forth Jesus, my dear Redeemer. He sent forth Jesus and set me free. Therefore, I'll say again, God loves me dearly. God loves me dearly. Loves even me. In life and in death, that was Bunny's confession, pointing to the way, the truth, and the life, pointing to Jesus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise. May the peace of God and pass of all our human understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Join together in singing the Te Deum.
deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you.
into the arms of your mercy and bring them home. Comfort us with the certain hope of the resurrection to everlasting life and a joyful reunion with those we love who have died in the faith. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May God the Father who created this body, may God the Son who by his blood redeemed this body, may God the Holy Spirit who by holy baptism sanctified this body to be his temple, keep these remains to the day of the resurrection of all flesh. Amen. Amen. We pray. Almighty God, by the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, you destroyed death, and by your rest in the tomb, you sanctified the graves of your saints. And by his bodily resurrection, he brought life and immortality to life, so that all who die in him abide in peace and hope. Receive our thanks for the victory over death and the grave that he won for us. Keep us in everlasting communion with all who wait for him on earth and with all in heaven who are with him, for he is the resurrection and the life, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth in peace.